this is the energy vibration reading for the sun moon and rising gemini it is the 48th week of the year 2017 the week begins from the 27th until the third in this week there's a lot of wonderful things happening for you gemini's the energy is an earth energy temperance and balance and the zodiac energy is fire you are our air sign so you know there are wonderful situations that are coming in in your life so let's see what's happening for you gemini's and this the positive side of this for the gemini's is actually going to be good you have a strong foundation whatever is going on there is a strong foundation there is a situation that is going on and you have a strong foundation you gemini so whatever is happening this is going to be your focus for this week this is going to be at the balance that is going to be your focus for this week and your energies that has been going on we are going to look forward i want to say to each and every um, person thank you for being here thank you for being such a success helping me to be such a success as i be a success you are also a successful and i'm so grateful and thankful for your support that you have been giving me you gemini's okay situations are happening whatever that has transpired in your life situations are being balancing out this is the last week of november so let's look at your energy and let's look and see what is happening i hope you can see the cards because i start to show the energies of the card and the readings okay in the number six is going to play a strong role in your life you have the six three times okay six good news are coming in for you gemini there's a victory and there's a success whatever the situation is with your love relationship you have a very strong foundation you have the energy of the four of wands the four of wands so this is a strong foundation this is going to be your focus okay this is all about love and um um, this is all about love for you Gemini's in this week because um, the energy of your week is uh, the two of cups which is emotion situation with relationships so whatever the relationship whatever is happening in this week with your relationship <clears throat> you are going to see that you have a strong balance in your relationship you have the six of cups this situation that is going on is a karmatic situation okay you have the six of swords in reversal this has now ended this is good your own energy vibration for most of you men are in the reverse form so that means the women are going to come out positive the men um in this week you're going to be the loss of uh, the six of ones and good news coming into you this is all for the women because you men have not been vibrating in the right energy vibration um you or you you use your sword in the in the um, wrong form and this is what you're seeing that is playing out in this week because the victory that would come in your life is not really going to happen for you men in this week because you have used the sword in the wrong direction for the women it's going to be very positive in relationship wide for you guys your inner guides and the eye princess comes up which is a water energy that is going to happen for you on friday okay so let's see what is the message that is going to be coming out for you gemini's and let's look at Monday to see what is happening with the Six of Wands. Um, the Six of Wands is a victory over the Princess of Wands. Okay, so that's a fire sign person. That's someone between the ages of 18 and 3. So um, the victory and success is over the Princess of Sword. So um, this could be a Libran or, a, uh, uh, or an Aquarius. And... If you have a relationship with this person there that was a karmatic situation that has been playing out you are going to see here a victory and success coming out it could be someone who is also a Gemini this woman whoever she is you um, are victorious over this person and it could be that it is uh, you yourself you know Wow Wow love is this is going to be powerful whatever you're planning on doing on wednesday and whoever you planned 
to connect with on Wednesday this is going to be a very good relationship because you can see here you have a strong stability in this relationship so um, for you people who are connecting with um, new people in your life new love relationships it's going to be positive the seven of ones is actually a good um it says challenge but it's for you men the men are going to be having a challenge on thursday whatever is happening there is a challenge in coming in on thursday you're in the reverse form you men okay let's look on friday to see what is coming out this is good for the women the queen of cups is going to come in to help you the queen of cups is a psychic person or someone who's very connected to the spirit world it can be a pisces a cancer or a scorpio let's look and see what is the connection with this is the five of swords there is a defeat with a situation that was happening with a past life so there is going to be a defeat for you people who had a past life a karmic situation then we have the four of swords you need to rest and you have the six of swords there's an ending to a situation and you need to have rest whatever is happening um you have a strong foundation against which is your focus against the prince of wands okay you have a strong foundation against the prince of wands so let's say that you um gemini's were having a situation with someone who is between the ages of 18 and 40 and this person because this is the energy here this person you have a situation with you have a strong foundation against them and whatever you're standing up with a situation you're standing up against this person and you have and you're going to win this because you can see that this is coming out over here okay so let's go and take a deeper look in your reading on Monday you have the six of wands it's a fire energy on Monday the six of wands is um, for some people um, it's standing up and uh, winning a situation against someone who is the princess of wands the princess of wands could be an Aries Ali or Sagittarian oh my god okay so you could be um, being very victorious over this person I'm sorry I didn't have my um, microphone in so there is a good there's information coming out that you're um, a very positive uh, um, you there is a positive sense of victory and success against uh, this person she could be an Aquarius a, li a Libra a Leo or a Sagittarius okay and you have a strong win good news is coming um, it could be from this person or about this person that you have overcome a situation that you had to deal with them on um, Tuesday a very good day it's a wonderful day for you women especially the women between the ages of um, 18 and 35 this is a good victory um you're going to be successful in something you gemini's out there whatever that has transpired in your life you are going to be a triumphant a victory and a success is coming in so this is a good day for you ladies out there um it could be also that you are having a victorious success over um an aquarius or a libran okay so this look and see how it's affecting you in your life middle of the week positive positive energy it's all about love this week is all about love it's all about connection with other people it's all about the loving energy because you have the energy of the two of cups this is all about love this is wonderful this is positive i really do not need to ask questions about your reading because it's so so obvious what is happening so you um your um, energy f your energy for the week is the two of cups and the two of cups is always has to do with love partnership and this is going to be good so if you have met someone that is someone from a past life this is a good relationship go for it whatever is happening the energy of the sun is here yes it is the right relationship for you it is a positive relationship for you this is the relationship that you should take on if you have received a new job or a new invitation for a new job take it it is good it is the right match this is going to be positive for you guys so this is wonderful because the two of cups is emotional but yet still it is in um, um, 
um, relationship forums it is good the energy of the Sun is saying yes this is the right thing for you uh, so Tuesday and Wednesday is a yes day for you guys so on Wednesday it, the Wednesday doesn't have an effect on the women but it has an, a huge effect on the men there is going to be a lot of challenges that is coming up on Thursday for you Gemini men a lot of challenges these are challenges that is coming up in relationship forms these are challenges that are coming up in the workplace these are challenges that are coming up in general with a lot of conflicts and complication with people and situations so if you um and be aware don't do anything irrational or rash because you're going to be caught up with this so you men need to be aware of what you're giving out is what is going to come back be aware of what you're doing on friday which is a wonderful day the energy of the eye princess is here the eye princess seems to be coming up for a lot of you hair sign people the energy of the eye princess is here on friday and uh, the energy of the eye princess brings in someone who's going to be very psychic someone who's going to be very in the psychic world that connects but also it's bringing up a um, pisces um a cancer or a scorpion person okay this per this eye princess is bringing up this person and um, bringing in the energy of this person and you're going to be connecting with this person this could be connecting in the way of love because the energy of the heart that's you know the the queen of cups is always coming in in a loving form so this could be the, your mother coming up or this could be someone of your sister or something that is helping you men to deal with whatever that is going on because obviously you did something and it's coming back to you and th there is a connection because it has uh, you know whatever that happens on Thursday you men the energy on Thursday because you're in a reverse form the men the energies for you men on Thursday you know you're really in the reverse form so whatever is, is happening this Queen of Cups could be a Pisces who is your um, partner or is someone who is a sister or a mother or so that is going to come to comfort you but you know you have gotten yourself in some problems you men on saturday you have a situation with to deal with someone of a past this is a past life connection okay so a lot of you on saturday are going to have a situation in the family or a situation with friends or a situation with people that is of a fast life if it's at work it's just a and there is a conflict there is a conflict there's a five of swords there's a conflict someone is going to stab you in the back so this is someone from your past this is someone um who is have a soul connection with you and they're going to this is a five of swords they're going to stab you into the back so be aware of this okay it doesn't really matter because this is going to come back to them so you know whatever they're doing and whoever this person is it can be someone who is a princess of one so it's someone who is a, a aries a leo or a sagittarius or, or a sagittarius who is going to do that but whatever they do is something that you have done to them and uh, uh, you know they are going to stab you into the back so be aware of this because this is a, a family situation or a past life situation it's a karmic situation that needs to be cleansed so on a sunday you have the energy of the six of swords in reverse there is an ending to whatever situation that is going that was going on with this princess of wands um there is it was a karmatic situation and here is the ending coming in finally the ending is here and you need to take some rest because the ending is here sunday is going to be a day of taking a rest sunday is a day when you're going to look back and realize that it did not you know whatever and it's going to affect you men because you're really standing over this so it, sunday is going to be a day for you men to take rest and reflect on what you have done because whatever you have done to someone else is coming back at you in a powerful way okay and whoever that prince of one is that person was a young person that did something that have an effect on you men it could be your son 
it could be your sp your son who have done something that is going to affect your life now and maybe you ask this person or you didn't ask this person to do whatever it is but this person did it it could be someone who is of a fire sign and aries leo or sagittarius that you um had a, a, a situation with and they have done something that you know was injustice to someone else and it's, so it's just the universe is coming up and it's saying you know that was not very nice you have to pay the consequences for whatsoever that has been happening to you the number six and the number four is going to play a role in your life number four and number six you have three times the number six and you have two times the number four for you women, it's going to be a wonderful, positive week. Good news is going to be coming in. You're going to um, overcome a situation that you have with a fire sign person, which could be an Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius. For you women, it is a positive, wonderful week. In the reverse form for you men, um, it's, it's a very um, unstable week. Whoever this Queen of Cups is, it could be a mother figure or so, but she is going to kind of support you um, because you have been going through this challenge. This challenge is something that you yourself uh, has called in your life. It's a past life situation. On Sunday, you need time to reflect because this reflection needs to happen. You need to understand what you have done of what you have cost somebody else or what you have tried to cost somebody else. Okay, so whatever is happening there it, this is the ending of a situation whatever the conflicts was whatever that was taking place around you this is the ending of the situation sunday is going to be a good day for you guys because you have the energy vibration of your own energy working with on sunday so this is going to be good um um, the energy for the love in this week is going to be very, very positive. So if you women are in a new relationship, connecting with new people, um, you could be connecting with the Pisces, the, the, the Scorpions and the Cancer. The, the energy of the sun is going to come out. It's going to be a very wonderful situation. Um, the young people, people between the ages of 18 and uh, people between the ages of 18, 35, 40. So, I mean, uh, people who are in the 20s, people who are in the teens. This is going to be good. This is going to be very positive, you know. So, you know, a lot of people, this is the general reading and a lot of people listen to this reading. So, you know, if you're a child or you're a teenager, it's going to be a very good week for you guys, okay? I'm working with the ants, the angel answers, and let's see what you Gemini's have for this coming week, week 48, week beginnings from the 27th of November until the 3rd of December. There's going to be a lot of success coming up for you guys. A lot of success. And success can come in different ways. I hope you can see it because somehow these cards do not want. So there we are. That 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 is much better. So success, a lot of success is going to be coming up for um uh, for a lot of the women in this week. It's going to be a very very successful week for a lot of the women, the men, some of you too, the ones who have been honestly vibrating in a positive way. Success can come in a different ways. It's a lot of success in um, promotion is going to come in for the women's a lot of success in a positive uh, situation good relationships are going to be happening for some of you women and men um, but for the older men um, if, if you are over the ages of 35 uh, or yeah if you're over the ages of 35 you men some of you are going to have a definitely um, reverse situation let's look and see what is happening from the conscious spirit healer i am lovingly and compassionate and able to bring healing to others i'm loving and compassionate and bring healing to others so this is such a wonderful wonderful card to end your reading with so um i guess this is going out to all the ladies out there that you are loving and compassionate and you're able to bring um 
positive energies uh, to other people so let's get this out there so you can see what a positive this is a very positive reading for you Gemini's I want to say thank you for being here um, please remember to listen to your Sun Moon and Rising sign the energy vibration for the month of December is already up please like share these videos thumbs up and I want to say namaste until next time Thank you.